here you can press uh, any button so the, the the user may not be very familiar about my game and make some mistakes like you need to select certain uh, certain object then you can press the move but if you haven't selected the model you cannot press it so if the user press it I display a warning on it or rotate select it will have a warning to let the user to select an object and then press the button uh, so this is the whole workspace and uh, here is a wand on this uh, toolbar and uh, I can press this button to display the help section to make users to know how to press certain button to perform some operations and you press that again the help section hides and uh, here I can use the toolbar to select certain model as you can see when you move the toolbar uh, at the top of the model it will have an indicator on it uh, so I can select certain model and uh, press create and uh, create a new model on the workspace and uh, create it again and then I can drop that then I will create a new mummy on my workspace and drop that and create a new one drop that and uh, then I can transfer certain model on my wand As you can see, it has been transferred to the toolbar, and uh, here you can drop it. It will return to the workspace, and uh, then you can delete it. And you can choose another one, and uh, you can perform like move option, and the rotate option, and the skill option, and then you press drop and you can uh, transfer the transfer the whole workspace by pre pressing the workspace button and then you can use move oh sorry i didn't yeah you can press the workspace and uh, move the whole workspace or rotate it or scale it and then you can drop it then you can reset the workspace by pressing the reset button as you can see the whole workspace is reset um, uh, this is pretty much the whole functions of my uh, of my game okay uh, and uh, i can delete the whole workspace by pressing the workspace then you, you can see uh, the whole workspace is moved and you can press delete to delete the whole workspace.